Welcome to the video series, Six Steps to IT Documentation. My name is Rachel Hutchinson and I will be guiding you through the Services section in the final part of our series. Users speak in terms of services. None of your employees will say, I think the service or server XY has a bug. They say, my internet is not working or I can't send emails. But what do the services internet and email consist of? A clear definition not only supports you in troubleshooting, but also helps you to plan for changes. You know which services are dependent on which server or switch, for example, and can inform users in advance in a targeted manner or set a maintenance window outside of business hours if business critical processes will be affected or severely impaired. With iDoIt, you can document your services down to the smallest dependency. But here again, it is important to proceed in a goal-oriented manner and it is advisable in the first instance to define only those components for the service that are also essential for it. Let's take a look at the possibilities of service design in the live demo. We have already prepared the internet service. To ensure the function of the service internet, we need the following components. Our created router from the second part of the series, a service contract with our internet service provider, and our WAN line. If these three components are free from faults, the operation of the internet service is guaranteed. Should a restriction nevertheless occur, contact persons should be stored under contact assignment. Ideally, you should also enter the support phone number of your internet service provider. If the service is disrupted, we can use the service logbook to track which changes were recently made to the devices. In our example, we recently made a change to the router's IP. Since the new IP is outside our network, devices and users cannot access the internet. Under SLA, we can provide information on minimum availability and defined service times. Administrators can use this overview to easily determine at which times maintenance can be performed ideally outside the service time shown. In addition to the pure recording of the services, their control is often an important factor. It is recommended to check the most important services regularly and to document the results. iDoIt already has a corresponding category for this purpose in order to record the audit carried out completely. To show the dependencies of the service, we can open the CMDB Explorer. It shows the connections between the service and its components. If we need additional information, we can either open the object directly or double click on it to display the further relationships to other devices and objects. Of course, services can also be dependent on other services. Let's take a look at the email service. For this service, we need our exchange server as well as the service internet, because without internet, no emails can be sent or received. This kind of documentation saves a lot of time because you don't have to determine all the devices for each service, but simply refer to the respective services. We already saw that the modelled services helps administrators to plan maintenance for systems and devices. iDoIt can also be used to simulate failures. This enables administrators and IT managers to identify weak points in the infrastructure at an early stage and create redundancies where necessary. To start a simulation, you first need the analytics add-on. After the installation, you will find it under the menu category Extras to Analytics. We want to simulate the failure of our router. To do this, 
we select our router, define a service filter and start the simulation. We can now see which services are affected by the failure of the router. In addition to performing failure simulations, the analytics add-on also shows you whether your IT documentation is complete. For each object type, the configured properties are displayed and whether information has been entered is checked. By clicking on the search icon, all devices where information is missing are displayed. This helps you to complete your IT documentation and thus increase quality. Additionally, we can check what individual services cost us. In addition to information on investment and ongoing operating costs, costs from contracts and licenses are also taken into account in the calculation. This not only gives you the opportunity to get all the information about costs, but also to check if there are cheaper alternatives on the market. The definition of services has another advantage. Thanks to iDoIt's extensive system of rights, you can specify that only those devices for which you are registered as a service owner can be viewed by the logged in user. All other objects are not available to the user. This makes iDoIt even clearer for your employees, as all devices for which you are not responsible are hidden and also prevents accidental incorrect changes being made to devices. Let us summarize the contents of the series again. In the first part of the series, we covered the creation of the basic infrastructure. We created buildings and rooms, configured a floor object, imported parts of the infrastructure via a CSV file, and presented to you the possibilities of spatial visualization with a floor plan add-on. In the second part, we covered the design of the network. The focus here was on setting up the network and the cabling from the internet connection to the switch in the server cabinet. The third part was about server configuration. In addition to physical servers, we also created and linked virtual machines. We also looked at the documents add-on that allows you to create emergency manuals and handover protocols. In the fourth part, we focused on client management. We created templates and showed you how to create your own user-defined categories, for example, to document accessories. We also created a maintenance contract. The fifth part covered the extensive topic of software and license management. In addition to the documentation of applications, databases and licenses, we also presented the JDIS discovery tool, which allows you to automatically discover devices in your network with all the associated information and import them into iDoIt. The notification function also allows you to inform people and groups when the defined threshold values are reached. With the report manager, you can design and evaluate all information completely according to your requirements. Today, we covered the topic of services. We demonstrated how to create and manage services and how you can improve your existing data quality in the long run and get information about the running costs of your services with the analytics add-on. Using a practical example, we demonstrated how you can use failure simulations to check which services are affected if a system fails. We hope you enjoyed our series Six Steps to IT Documentation and that we brought you a step closer to your goal. If you have any further questions, the iDoIt team is at your disposal at sales at iDoIt.com. Thank you for your attention and I wish you every success for your documentation projects.